Good morning, everyone. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. I just bought a gallon of water. I'm going to the gym right now. I go to the gym, um, but I don't go to the gym to actually work out in the morning. The only time I actually go to the gym is here in the sauna. So just got out of the sauna. About uh, 20 minutes I sit in there, just sweat it all out. So I go on what they call what, 16 and eight, meaning like 16 uh, hours, I don't eat anything other than drink water. And then during the eight hours, I just eat whatever. If you follow my advice and do the things that I do, please know that you may die in the sauna and you might actually starve yourself by doing intermittent fasting. And if that happens, I am not liable for that. Thank you. You know, I like to find out the history of a seller, especially a seller that has like multiple assets. So we pulled up public records and I can see that she owns multiple properties, not only residential stuff, but she has commercial and all of them have literally franchises on there like McDonald's, uh, Wiener Schnitzel, Taco Bell, Del Taco, Carl's Jr., Jack in the Box. So I'm just looking at that. I'm just like, damn, why does she need the money for? Um, as I started pulling up the history of it, I saw one thing that really, really popped out, which was a deed of trust that was recorded which is literally means a loan on there for hundred and five million dollars but then I'm just like hmm I wonder why she needs the money because if you guys don't know I do drink a lot of water um, I'm gonna take a sip right now water bottles galore say hi oh man number three number four number four I'm losing count the struggle is real, ladies and gentlemen. Drinking water, it's good for your skin. Uh, I lost count already. But in reality, the Latin word for passion is pasio, and it means to suffer. So the question is, what are you willing to suffer for? you do not have any type of lead generation problem. And I'm gonna show you exactly what that means and how you can get anyone's cell phone number and email address and why if you understand this concept of data appending, how it will transform your business. Lost count how many times I went there today, but that's what happens when you drink a lot of water. I'll tell you, it's good for your skin though. Look at that. Ooh, now I'm headed home. I'm gonna have me some Sinigan. So I got home and it says what? Check food for stove. Two. Look at that. I got pizza, chicken. Good morning, everyone. It is 6:30 a.m. A little bit. Ready to get my day started. Got my little sleep in. And uh, here's a quick tip: you got to work when your competition is sleeping. Cause someone asked me, DM me, says, what the heck is this when they're watching the live stream? It's actually a cushion that my brother got for me uh, for my birthday a couple months ago. And it was a lot thicker, but clearly it's getting thin. The most difficult, difficult stuff to do is if you spend a dollar today in marketing, okay, or infrastructure, whatever it is, and within a 12 months period, you only get 50 cents back. Are you okay with that? And a lot of times, a lot of people will say no, right? Even though in the beginning, they'll be like, oh yeah, I'm okay with that because hey, I'm in it for the long haul. Understand the phases that you go through and understand where you're currently at because if you don't know where you stand, it's really difficult even if you say, hey, this is where I wanna go, it's really hard. It's like a map and you don't know where you start. That's why I'm flying out to the Philippines in uh, about two weeks or so. Alabang, how do you say it? Alabang. Alab Alabang. Alab Alabang. Okay. <laughs> um. Do you know the look? I mean, the name of the hotel, Mary. Uh, a lot of the back end stuff has been handled by my assistant uh, in the Philippines, but it's now to a place where um, we're scaling. And uh, going home right now, and I got a lot of stuff done, which is awesome. And man, I cannot see anything. Where are we? So I'm going home. My wife picked me up because the car, the car's in the shop. Say hello. It is uh, about 5.30 a.m. or so. As I drive in, I wanna give you some couple tips on uh, a kind of uh, hacking your body. First thing is try to avoid sugar when you wake up. All right, I fast in the morning, so my first meal doesn't happen until about 2 p.m., 3 p.m. So when I wake up, I drink tons of water, and if I have to drink coffee, uh, like I went to uh, get coffee right now, um, I never have sugar in there, all right? So I get like Americano on ice, and that's it, no 
no sugar, absolutely not, because you're gonna crash. And a lot of this stuff uh, I got from my friends in Silicon Valley because he talks about being a CEO, uh, being a sport, and you have to kind of biohack your body to be able to outperform uh, your competition. Another one is uh, aromatherapy, right? So you saw yesterday uh, when I wake up, I go to the office, I do a little bit of aromatherapy stuff to get me alert. Well, any hacks that allows me to perform much higher, okay? So this is one thing that I started. Good morning, sunshine, uplifting blend. And uh, another Thing that you can absolutely do is when you go to sleep or before you before I go to sleep uh, 20 milligrams of something called melatonin and uh, that puts me into deep sleep very very quickly so even if I sleep super late like one o'clock I have to wake up at four I feel refreshed I am not a doctor scientist psychiatrist physicist nutritionist or anything with this okay so whatever I told you on this tips of health uh, take it as pure entertainment and I will not be liable for you if you faint and die look at that heel wabbit 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 here, Wabbit. Oh, where are you going, Wabbit? Here, Wabbit. Where are you going? Do you see him? A little past 11.45, man. Just been on the phone all day. Didn't realize that this thing wasn't recorded. And this company is all about fractional ownership, okay? Fractional ownership and a fractional ownership type of loan. So when people buy a house, this company, I believe it's Lend, um, will go ahead and give you some down payment assistant, meaning give you cash to um, come up with a part of the down payment, 20%, and in exchange for that 20% of the down payment, um, you have to give up a fraction of um, the ownership of the house. Okay, and you don't have to pay anything back. And I've been saying this on my podcast at Real Estate Strategy Lab, go check it out, um, is I believe this is gonna be the new security instrument that's going to probably uh, bring down affordability. This guy, as I'm looking at the permit history, you can see that he's building and knocking the stuff down and he's building uh, something on here, right? So again, this turns it into a really, really good comp. Yeah, so he bought it for 530, right? With a conventional loan and you can see here. So really, because it's the comps, right? I can offer probably if I get it at 530, sight unseen, as long as the width and length of the lot size is about the same, you know that I can make money. So that's a quick hack on how to figure out what to offer. Um, if you have never done development deals and stuff like that and you're like, what should I offer? You know, look at what other people are doing and sight unseen, you can make offers based on what they bought it for and if you get it under that. Artem, so you have over 150 units, huh? Hey, yeah, so I'm gonna find you some deals, buddy. Good morning, everyone. I'm Bowish and Jeff, is still asleep. Bowish likes to be a robot and he goes Earlier, I had Boris who hijacked my phone. There. What do you got there, buddy? Shit. What are you doing with the ball? Go, fetch! No. Fetch! No. Fetch! Yes. Too. So Boris is a crazy dude, man. He thinks that he is a robot or something like that. So you got to check that out on the Instagram places or what they, you know, cool kids says, IG, like they a thug, IG. Uh, like less than, I think, 10 days before I fly out to the Philippines, uh, I had a meeting with uh, Mary, who's out in the Philippines and just talking about kind of game plans and some things that I want to look at when I'm out there. That's why on Fridays, I have a love-hate relationship. I love the fact that we're going in and um, I'm gonna start working more on the business versus in the business. And uh, I like that, but the hate portion is the fact that if I need to get stuff done, other people are off. So that's the problem here. So let me get back to work. I got a lot of stuff to do. Love y'all. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Jeff Koga is back in it. I've been here working, realized I stopped streaming. So, hey, <laughs> so where did you see the video? Where did you live streaming right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm waving at you. I'm waving at you. So, got a call, or my wife got a call from uh, her sister's son, his name, and nephew, uh, Kobe my nephew <laughs> and he basically says Tito Jeff I'm watching your live stream <laughs> yo 
Is it up? Yeah, there we go. Now, I was gonna make something really professional, but as I'm sitting here on Saturday, okay, and I'm working and because I'm looking at deals and um, I do work in real estate still, okay, but I wanted to record this video. To first off say, uh, welcome to uh, the lab, the group coaching uh, program, the Business uh, Growth Accelerator 2.0, and please don't mind what I'm wearing my shirt right now. I came back from the gym this morning, but again, Instead of being professional, I figured, hey, you know what? Let me just record this. So let me show you what I got on the whiteboard right here. Finishing up the day. Long day. Oop, and then just throwing the trash away. Go back early tomorrow morning. Hurry, hurry. I gotta go to the restroom. Been here uh, probably like an hour or so. Um, came here right after church and uh, got a lot of stuff I'm gonna be working on which is working on that right there so a little bit we bit tired we are the champion I am a little bit tired on this Sunday, Sunday, 9 p.m. On this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Oh my gosh. I. Oh, we should have went to Creamery.